Hello and welcome back to Yggdrasil Modding. It has been quite a long time since I've been on here and posted a video. Today I want to show you off something a little bit different than what we've been doing before. This is AI large language models as well as stable diffusion, which is image generation. Now, for all of this, you need one tool, Kobold CPP or Kobold C++. All you need to do is go to the GitHub that I will link in the description, go to releases, find the proper release version for your setup. Now, if you're on AMD, I will have a second option that I'll get to in a moment, but if you're on NVIDIA or just on a CPU without any GPU at all, then it's going to be these. You got three options for Linux as the top, CUDA 1150, 1210, and no CUDA. Which version of these you need is simple to understand. There is a NVIDIA support matrix here that shows you which supports 12, which supports 11, and which supports 11 again. 11.5 is the old version. 11.8 is considered a medium version that's not really supported by anybody. And then you have 12.4 as the latest, but the version built for is 12.1. If you can check your uh, GPU driver version, you, if you have GeForce Experience or similar, you can use that. Or just go to this and see which version you have. NVIDIA Maxwell is the GTX 90, 900 series. Pascal is the 10,000 series, Volta, so on, so forth. I will note the NVIDIA Maxwell cards that are supported are not necessarily all Maxwell cards. For instance, if you have a 940 or 950, it's not going to be supported. And for Pascal versions, if you have a 1030, it's not really going to be supported. You're going to need to go with the older version of 11. But if you have a 1080 Ti, 20 series, 16 series, or 30 series, or even 40 series, you are going to want to use the 12.x or 1210 version. Now, the next three options are koboldcpp.exe, q12.exe, and nokia.exe. These are the same things, but for Windows. The one with no modifier, is regular NVIDIA GPU version 1150. The Q12 is the CUDA 12 version for newer GPUs. And the no CUDA is if you do not have a GPU or you are running it on a GPU that is not supported. If you are running a AMD GPU, such as the 6700XTX or 7600XTX or whatever it is, I don't know much as much about a AMD, then you will need this version, the Cobalt CPP Rock'em by Yellow Rose instead of the one by Lost Ruins. I will also link this in the description. And you go to just same thing, releases, there's an EXE or the Rock'em files, and you download the one that you need and run it. The next thing that you need is a giga file, gguf or guguf or however you want to pronounce it, and that is a LLM model file or large language model file. For instance, this one that I use here is called L3 or Llama3 Arcania, and it is a 4x8b. That means it has four ideas at the same time and each idea is a 8b or 8 billion parameter model and then it will compare them and select the best. You can also do just a llama3 for instance you can do llama3 8b instruct there is also the mistral um, 8x22b aka maxtral the 8x7b which is a common one and various other ones. Once you have downloaded the run, running tool, the binary if you're on Linux, or the application 
on Windows, you can navigate to it in Terminal, or you can navigate it to it in your file directory. In files, just double click in Terminal. You might have to chmod plus x the file in question. But then once you've done that, just run it. Here you can find the model you want. For instance, I go to this. I got the Q5 for whenever I run, want to run more things in the background, or the 4x8 for when I don't. I'm going to go with the Q5 for now to show off some other things this can do. You can set the contact size. Each word you can each word you can assume to be a token. And the number of tokens you can have is set by this. At 2048, you can have roughly 2000 words or so. At 4096, around a little less than 4000 words, depending on the words that, that you're talking about. This model I know is good for up to 8192, with, and will do pretty well with that. You can go higher than what a model is rated for, though it does degrade the quality. And you can go lower, which will increase the speed of the model, but you're not going to have it be able to respond to something that happened earlier in the conversation. Let's just go with that for now. You then have a drop down for your GPUs. I just select all, and it will automatically split between them. However, because these GPUs are very different in their capabilities, the 3090 versus the 3080, you can go to tensor split and type in the number of, or the amount of VRAM you have in each. For instance, 24 in my first card, and 10 in the second. Or, if your cards are the other way around, 10 and 24. This is something that you'll discover whenever it prints to log what exactly it sees. GPU layers is how much you put on the GPU versus how much you put on your CPU. Your CPU is going to run much slower, but is going to run more of it. For instance, I have 100 gigabytes roughly of RAM, so I can put a whole lot more on the CPU. On the CPU, it's just going to be slower. You'll notice that this has many different settings that I don't go over. That's some of these I don't actually know what they do specifically, and some of them just really aren't worth changing from defaults. There's a lot of t some that are good, and some that will not exactly be the best. For instance, just leave. Most of these default, like use Quantmot Molt or MMQ, and it will just go fine. Um, some of these, like especially under the hardware section, hover over it, it'll tell you what you need or what it does and why you might need it. You then have this option Lava MM Proj. This is where you can enable the AI to see stuff. So just go ahead and find the mmproj, and you can once again find this on Hugging Face. And just search for mmproj. Generally, you will know which mmproj you need based off of the info about the model, such as this is a Llama 3 model. So just find a Llama 3, Llama 3 mmproj, and download the gguf. You then have this section, image gen. You can select a stable diffusion model, which you can get from Civit AI. Civit AI has many different model types, and they each do different things. Unfortunately, most of them are porn. But what can you say? While you are browsing on Civit AI, there are many different model types. Well, a few different. You are going to be looking for a checkpoint model type, and you are specifically looking for either a SD 1.5 or a SDXL. 
Pony is also a form of SDXL, so you can just select all those. There is a newer model type called SD3. It is not supported yet. It's not even out yet. Uh, there's also um, SD2. It's just bad. Don't use it. And then there's various other options. SVD is stable video distribution. Playground, PixArt, and so on are other alternative options. And Stable Cascade was yet another kind of not that good option. If you are wondering why Pony is an option, it's because of this model. It is a model trained on a lot of mostly ponies, but it is trained extremely well, and so people just use it as a base. It's weird, but just find it in your uh, folder and select it. You can compress it to, as it says, it will save memory in your, on your GPU, but it will degrade quality. And then you just hit launch. You'll be able to see the loading in the background on the log if you, have, if you ran it from command line. If you didn't run it from command line, then it won't work as well. I selected some. I selected the GPUs backwards by accident, so I had to just load my config that I normally use. Now, once it has loaded, it will generally automatically pop up in your browser. You can disable that in the settings of the menu that I showed you before, or you can just go ahead and let it do that. If you disable it and need to find that again, it is 127.0.0.1 colon 5001 be able to see it at that address. You can also go to localhost colon 5001. It's the exact same thing. Let's go ahead and ask it a question. Let's say show me a piece of paper. Now it won't always through kobold display the image or generate an image Sometimes you will have to ask it to. And you just hit add image and it will generate. Now, of course, the intelligence depends on which one you get. For instance, the one I'm using, Mama 3 Arcania 4x8b, is a story model that has been decensored. That is the reason for the not for all audiences and the warning that pops up. The, goal, the reason for that, that or the reason why I use it rather, is because whenever you talk to ChatGPT and asks it, ask it about some political figures, it will say, I can't talk about politics. And you ask about their opposition, it will say, oh yeah, that's a great guy. Which is entirely biased. A decensored model such as this generally has much less bias, Although you get the trade off of it not being exactly as, uh, you know, nice. Overall, that's all you do. If you want to just keep on going with this, then you just talk to it some more. There you go. Now you can also go to in this URL slash SDUI. This allows you to just generate images and nothing else. So let's put that there and let's generate an image. Now I will say the image generation built into Cobalt CPP is not the fastest. It is four to iterations per second and it takes anywhere from 10 to 40 iterations to get a good quality image. I will show you a alternative for purely image generation in another video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.